Calabria Calabria, known in antiquity as Brucium, is a region in southern Italy. The capital city of Calabria is Catanzaro. The Regional Council of Calabria is based at the Palazzo Campanella in the city of Reggio Calabria. The region is bordered to the north by the Basilicata region, to the west by the Tyrrhenian Sea, and to the east by the Ionian Sea. The region covers and has a population of just under 2 million. The demonym of Calabria is Calabrese in Italian and Calabrian in English. In ancient times the name Calabria referred, not as in modern times to the toe, but to the heel tip of Italy, from Tarentum southwards, a region nowadays known as Salento. Starting in the 3rd century BC, the name Calabria was originally given to the Adriatic coast of the Salento Peninsula in modern Apulia. In the late 1st century BC this name came to extend to the entirety of the Salento. When the Roman Emperor Augustus divided Italy into regions, the whole region of Apulia received the name Regio II Apulia et Calabria. By this time, modern Calabria was still known as Brucium, after the Brucians who inhabited the region. Later in the 7th century AD, the Byzantine Empire created the Duchy of Calabria from the Salento and the Ionian part of Brucium. Even though the Calabrian part of the duchy was conquered by the Longobards during the 8th and 9th centuries AD, the Byzantines continue to use the name Calabria for their remaining territory in Brutium. The modern name Italy derives from Italia, which was first used as a name for the southern part of modern Calabria. Over time, the Greeks started to use it for the rest of the southern Italian peninsula as well. After the Roman conquest of the region, the name was used for the entire Italian peninsula and eventually the Alpine region too. The region is generally known as the toe of the boot of Italy and is a long and narrow peninsula which stretches from north to south for, with a maximum width of, some 42% of Calabria's area, corresponding to 15,080 kilometers, is mountainous, 49% is hilly, while plains occupy only 9% of the region's territory. It is surrounded by the Ionian and Tyrrhenian seas. It is separated from Sicily by the Strait of Messina where the narrowest point between Cape Opello Roin Sicily and Punta Pezzo in Calabria is only. Three mountain ranges are present, Polino Louisiana Sila and Aspromont. All three mountain ranges are unique with their own flora and fauna. The Polino Mountains in the north of the region are rugged and form a natural barrier separating Calabria from the rest of Italy. Parts of the area are heavily wooded, while others are vast, windswept plateaus with little vegetation. These mountains are home to a rare Bosnian pine variety and are included in the Polino National Park. The Polino National Park also has the distinction of being the largest national park in Italy and covers about 1,925.65 square kilometers. La Sila, which has been referred to as the Great Wood of Italy, is a vast mountainous plateau about above sea level and stretches for nearly along the central part of Calabria. The highest point is Botanato, which reaches the area boasts numerous lakes and dense coniferous forests. La Sila also has some of the tallest trees in Italy which are called the giants of the Sila and can reach up to in height. The Sila National Park is also known to have the purest air in Europe. The Aspromont Massif forms the southernmost tip of the Italian peninsula bordered by the sea on three sides. This unique mountainous structure reaches its highest point at Montalto, at, and is full of wide, man-made terraces that slope down towards the sea. In general, most of the lower terrain in Calabria has been agricultural for centuries, and exhibits indigenous scrubland as well as introduced plants such as the prickly pear cactus. The lowest slopes are rich in vineyards and citrus fruit orchards. The Diamante citron is one of the citrus fruits. Moving upwards, olives and chestnut trees appear, while in the higher regions there are often dense forests of oak, pine, beech, and fir trees. Calabria's climate is influenced by the sea and mountains. The Mediterranean climate is typical of the coastal areas with considerable differences in temperature and rainfall between the seasons, with an average low of during the winter months and an average high of during the summer months. Mountain areas have a typical mountainous climate with frequent snow during winter. Erratic behavior of the Tyrrhenian Sea can bring heavy rainfall on the western slopes of the region, while hot air from Africa makes the east coast of Calabria dry and warm. The mountains that run along the region also influence sea the climate and temperature of the region. The east coast is much warmer and has wider temperature ranges than the west coast. The geography of the region causes more rain to fall along the west coast than that of the east coast, which occurs mainly during winter and autumn and less during the summer months. Below are the two extremes of climate present in Calabria, both the warm Mediterranean subtype on the coastline and the highland climate of Mondi Scuro.
When describing the geology of Calabria, it is commonly considered as part of the Calabrian Arc, an arc-shaped geographic domain extending from the southern part of the Basilicata region to the northeast of Sicily, and including the Peloritano Mountains. The Calabrian area shows basement of Paleozoic and Younger Ages, covered by Neogene sediments. Studies have revealed that these rocks comprise the upper unit of a pile of thrust sheets which dominate the Apennines and the Sicilian Maribides. The Neogene evolution of the central Mediterranean system is dominated by the migration of the Calabrian Arc to the southeast, overriding the African Plate and its promontories. The main tectonic elements of the Calabrian Arc are the southern Apennines Fold and Thrust Belt, the Calabria Peloritani, or simply Calabrian Block and the Sicilian Maribides Fold and Thrust Belt. The foreland area is formed by the Apulia Platform, which is part of the Adriatic Plate, and the Ragusa or Iblian Platform, which is an extension of the African Plate. These platforms are separated by the Ionian Basin. The Tyrrhenian Oceanized Basin is regarded as the Back Arc Basin. This subduction system therefore shows the southern plates of African affinity subducting below the northern plates of European affinity. The geology of Calabria has been studied for more than a century. For details concerning the older literature, i.e. from before 1973, the reader is referred to the Review of Ogniben. Ippolito presented a complete bibliography of the literature on the Calabrian geology as published up until that moment. Books, reviews and important mile negation stones concerning the geology of the Calabrian arc are the following, Cortese, Limanowski, Quitzel, Kerr et al., Kerr, Gramjacket et al., Ogniben, Kerr, Burton, Amodio Morelli et al., Dubois, Graham Jacket and Maskell, Moussat, Van Dijk, and Van Dijk et al. The earlier works were mainly dedicated to the evolution of the basement rocks of the area. The Neogene sedimentary successions were merely regarded as post orogenic infill of neotectonic tensional features. In the course of time, however, a shift can be observed in the temporal significance of these terms, from post Eocene to post early Miocene to post middle Pleistocene. The region is seismically active and is generally ascribed to the re-establishment of an equilibrium after the latest deformation phase. Some authors believe that the subduction process is still ongoing, which is a matter of debate. Calabria has one of the oldest records of human presence in Italy, which date back to around 700,000 BC when a type of Homo erectus evolved leaving Thracis around coastal areas. During the Paleolithic period Stone Age man created the Bos Primogenius, a figure of a bull on a cliff which dates back around 12,000 years in the cave of Romito in the town of Papasidero. When the Neolithic period came the first villages were founded around 3,500 BC. Around 1500 BC a tribe called the Anotri, settled in the region. According to Greek mythology they were Greeks who were led to the region by their king, Enotris. The Greeks used the term Italoi which according to some ancient Greek writers was derived from a legendary king of the Anotri, Italus and according to others from the bull. Originally the Greeks used Italoi to indicate Calabrians and later it became synonymous with the rest of the peninsula. Calabria therefore was the first region to be called Italia. During the 8th and 7th centuries BC, Greek settlers founded many colonies on the coast of southern Italy. In Calabria they founded Chone, Cosentia, Clampedia, Cilium, Sybaris, Hipponian, Lacriepit Sephiri, Colon, Cremisa, Crotone, Lo, Medma, Meteros, Petelia, Region, Cilicium, Temesa, Dorina, Pendosia, and Thurii. Region was the birthplace of one of the famed nine lyric poets, Ibicus. Meteros was the birthplace of another of the nine lyric poets, Stesichorus, who was the first lyric poet of the Western world. Croton spawned many victors during the ancient Olympics and other Panhellenic games. Amongst the most famous were Milo of Croton, who won six wrestling events in six Olympics in a row, along with seven events in the Pythian Games, nine events in the Nemean Games, and ten events in the Isthmian Games, and also Astylos of Croton, who won six running events in three Olympics in a row. Through Alcmean of Croton and Pythagoras, who moved to Croton in 530 BC, the city became a renowned center of philosophy, science, and medicine. The Greeks of Sybaris created intellectual property. Sybaris benefited from vineaducts which were a series of pipes that carried wine to the homes of its citizens. The Sybarite founded at least 20 other colonies, including Poseidonia, Lo and Citrus. Locri was renowned for being the town where Zaleucus created the first Western Greek law, the Locrian Code and the birthplace of ancient epigrammist and poet Gnosis. The Italy were the first established people of Calabria. 
Later came the Bratii from Lucania. These occupied Calabria and called it Bruchium. The Bratii were very advanced culturally. The Greek cities of Calabria came under the pressure from these Lucanians, an Oscan people who lived in the present day region of Basilicata. They conquered the north of Calabria and pushed further south, taking over part of the interior, probably after they defeated the Thurians near Lo in 390 BC. A few decades later, Calabria came under pressure from the Bratii. They were Lucanian slaves and other fugitives who were seeking refuge in the steep mountains of Calabria. Their name was Lucanian and meant rebels. They took advantage of the weakening of the Greek sites caused by wars between them. They took over Hipponium, Dorina, and Thurii. They helped the Lucanians to fight Alexander of Epirus, who had come to the aid of Tarentum, which was also pressured by the Lucanians. After this, Agathocles of Syracuse ravaged the coast of Calabria with his fleet, took Hipponium and forced the Bratii into unfavorable peace terms. However, they soon seized Hipponium again. After Agathos' death in 289 BC the Lucanians and Bratii pushed into the territory of Thurii and ravaged it. The city sent envoys to Rome to ask for help in 285 BC and 282 BC. On the second occasion, the Romans sent forces to garrison the city. This was part of the episode which sparked the Pyrrhic War. During the Pyrrhic War the Lucanians and Bratii sided with Pyrrhus and provided contingents which fought with his army. When Pyrrhus landed in Italy the people of region were worried about their safety and asked Rome for protection. The Romans sent soldiers from Campania to garrison the city. Coveting the wealth of the city, the soldiers killed its prominent men, sent away the rest and seized their property. The Romans could not do much about it because they were engaged in the war. A few years after the end of the war, in 271 BC, the Romans retook the city, arrested the soldiers and took them to Rome, where they were executed. After Pyrrhus was defeated, to avoid Roman revenge, the Bratii submitted willingly and gave up half of the Sela, a mountainous plateau which was valuable for its pitch and timber. The timber here was sold all over Italy and the resin of Theria was of the highest quality. During the Second Punic War the Bratii allied with Hannibal, who sent Hanno, one of his commanders, to Calabria. Hanno marched towards Capua with Bruchian soldiers to take them to Hannibal's headquarters there twice, but he was defeated on both occasions. When his campaign in Italy came to a dead end, Hannibal took refuge in Calabria, whose steep mountains provided protection against the Roman legions. He set up his headquarters in Crotone and stayed there for four years until he was recalled to Carthage. The Romans fought a battle with him near Crotone, but its details are unknown. Many Calabrian cities surrendered. Calabria was put under a military commander. Nearly a decade after the war, the Romans set up colonies in Calabria, at Tempsa and Crotone in 194 BC, Capia in the territory of Thurii in 193 BC, and Vibo Volantia in the territory of Hipponian in 192 BC. The Romans called Calabria Brutium. Later, during the reign of Augustus it became part of the third region of Italy, the Regio III Lucania et Bratium. After sacking Rome in 410, Alarica went to Calabria with the intention of sailing to Africa. He contracted malaria and died in Cosentia, probably of fever. Legend has it that he along with the treasure of Rome were buried under the bed of the river Byzanto. With the fall of the western part of the Roman Empire, Italy was taken over by the Ostrogoths and became part of the Ostrogothic kingdom in the late 5th century. During the 6th century, under the Ostrogoths, Cassiodorus emerged as one of the most prominent men of his time. He was an administrator, politician, scholar and historian who was born in Cilicium. He spent most of his career trying to bridge the divides off East and West, Greek and Latin cultures, Romans and Goths, and official Christianity and Arian Christianity, which was the form of Christianity of the Ostrogoths and which had earlier been banned. He set up his Vivarium Monastery in Cilicium. He oversaw the collation of three editions of the Bible in Latin. Seeing the practicality of uniting all the books of the Bible in one volume, he was the first who produced Latin Bibles in single volumes. The most well known of them was the Codex Grandior, which was the ancestor of all modern Western Bibles. Cassiodorus was at the heart of the administration of the Ostrogothic Kingdom. Theodoric made him Quaestor Sacri Palatii in 507, Governor of Lucania and Brucium, Consul in 514, and Magister Officiorum in 523. He was Praetorian Prefect under the successors of Theodoric, under Athalaric in 533 and, between 535 and 537, under Theodahad and Wittiges. The major works of Cassiodorus, besides the mentioned Bibles, were the Historia Gothorum, a history of the Goths, 
the Vrayan account of his administrative career in the institutions Divinarum et Essay Ecularium Literarum, an introduction to the study of the sacred scriptures and the liberal arts which was very influential in the Middle Ages. Byzantine Emperor Justinian I, retook Italy from the Ostrogoths. They soon lost much of Italy to the Lombards, but they retained the south, where they thrived. In Calabria and towns such as Stilo and Rossano achieved great religious status. From the 7th century many monasteries were built in Fomentoli and Stilaro valleys and Stilo was the destination of hermits and Basilian monks. Many beautiful Byzantine churches are still seen in the region. The 10th century church in Rossano is considered one of the best preserved Byzantine churches in Italy. It was built by St. Nilus the Younger as a retreat for the monks who lived in the two Fagrados underneath. The present name of Calabria comes from the Duchy of Calabria. Around the year 800, Saracens began invading the shores of Calabria, attempting to wrest control of the area from the Byzantines. This group of Arabs had already been successful in Sicily and knew that Calabria was another key spot. The people of Calabria retreated into the mountains for safety. Although the Arabs never really got a stronghold on the whole of Calabria, they did control some villages while enhancing trade relations with the Eastern world. In 918, Saracens captured Reggio and sold the majority of its population in the slave markets of Sicily and North Africa. It is during this time of Arab invasions that many staples of today's Calabrian cuisine came into fashion, citrus fruits and eggplants for example. Exotic spices such as cloves and nutmeg were also introduced. In the 1060s the Normans from their duchy in France, under the leadership of Robert Guiscard's brother, Roger I of Sicily, established a presence in this borderland, and organized a government modeled on the Eastern Roman Empire and was run by the local magnates of Calabria. Of note is that the Normans established their presence here, in southern Italy, six years prior to their conquest of England. The purpose of this strategic presence in Calabria was to lay the foundations for the Crusades thirty years later, and for the creation of two kingdoms, the kingship of Jerusalem, and the kingdom of Sicily. Ships would sail from Calabria to the Holy Land. This made Calabria one of the richest regions in Europe as princes from the noble families of England, France and other regions, constructed secondary residences and palaces here, on their way to the Holy Land. Guiscard's son Bohemond, who was born in San Marco Argentano, would be one of the leaders in the First Crusade. In 1098, Roger I of Sicily was named the equivalent of an apostolic legate by Pope Urban II and later his son Roger II of Sicily became the first king of Sicily and formed what would become the Kingdom of Sicily which lasted nearly 700 years. Under the Normans southern Italy was united as one region and started a feudal system of land ownership in which the Normans were made lords of the land while peasants performed all the work on the land. In 1194 the Swabians took control under Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor. He created a kingdom that blended cultures, philosophy and customs and would build several castles while fortifying existing ones which the Normans previously constructed. After the death of Frederick II in 1250, Calabria was controlled by the French once more, the Angevins, under the rule of Charles d'Anjou after being granted the crown by Pope Clement IV. Under Charles d'Anjou the Kingdom of Sicily was changed to the Kingdom of Naples in 1282 after he lost Sicily due to the rebellion of the Sicilian Vespers. During the 14th century, would emerge Barlam of Seminara who would be Petrarch's Greek teacher and his disciple Leonzio Pilato, who would translate Homer's works for Giovanni Boccaccio. In 1442 the Aragonese took control under Alfonso V of Aragon who became ruler under the crown of Aragon. In 1501 Calabria came under the control of Ferdinand II of Aragon who is famed for sponsoring the first voyage of Christopher Columbus in 1492. Calabria suffered greatly under Aragonese rule with heavy taxes, feuding landlords, starvation and sickness. After a brief period in the early 1700s under the Austrian Habsburgs, Calabria came into the control of the Bourbons in 1735. It was during Spanish rule that Calabria would contribute to modern world history with the creation of the Gregorian calendar by the Calabrian doctor and astronomer Luigi Lelio. In 1563 philosopher and natural scientist Bernardino Telesio wrote on the nature of things according to their own principles and pioneered early modern empiricism. He would also influence the works of Francis Bacon, René Descartes, Giordano Bruno, Tommaso Campanella, and Thomas Hobbes. In 1602, philosopher and poet Tommaso Campanella wrote his most famous work, The City of the Sun, and would later defend Galileo Galilei during his first trial with his work A Defense of Galileo, which was written in 1616 and published in 1622. 
In 1613 philosopher and economist Antonio Serra wrote a short treatise on the wealth and poverty of nations and was a pioneer in the mercantilist tradition. At the end of the 18th century the French took control and in 1808 Napoleon Bonaparte gave the Kingdom of Naples to his brother-in-law Joachim Morat. Morat controlled the kingdom until the return of the Bourbons in 1815. Calabria experienced a series of peasant revolts as part of the European revolutions of 1848. This set the stage for the eventual unification with the rest of Italy in 1861, when the Kingdom of Naples was brought into the Union by Giuseppe Garibaldi. The unification was orchestrated by Great Britain in an attempt to nationalize the production of sulfur from the two volcanoes located in Naples and Sicily respectively. The Aspromont was the scene of a famous battle off unification of Italy. During the late 19th or early 20th century, pianist and composer Alfonso Rendino invented the third pedal, which augmented the interpretative resources of the piano. The ancient Greek colonies from Naples and to the south, had been completely Latinized, but from the 5th century AD onward Greeks had once again emigrated there when pressed out of their homeland by invasions. This Greek diaspora allowed the ancient Greek dialects to continue in southern Italy much in the same way that the Italian diaspora allowed long-lost dialects from Italy to thrive in countries where Italians emigrated to dot Greek texts were also valued in monasteries and places of learning. However it was Charlemagne in the 8th century, who made Latin the official language of study and communication for Europe. For the sake of uniformity, he supplanted much of the Greek spoken, read or taught in Europe. It was through language and education that Charlemagne united Europe. During the 13th century a French chronicler who traveled through Calabria stated that the peasants of Calabria spoke nothing but Greek given he had traveled to areas where Greek was still available. But the educated classes spoke Italian. Indeed, formal Italian has been taught in schools throughout Italy for nearly two centuries, causing the ancient languages and dialects to continually disappear, much to the chagrin of the cultural community. These lost dialects continue to thrive to this day in North America and Australia places where Italians emigrated to, on account of the diaspora. Calabria enjoys a diversified economy comparable to Western nations in various categories, as shown in these statistics, the gross domestic product of Calabria is subdivided as follows, service industry, financial activities and real estate, trade, tourism, transportation and communication, taxation, manufacturing, construction and agriculture. It is one of the least developed regions in Italy. Its economy is hampered by corruption, tax evasion, and organized crime, which is mainly run by the Andrangheta. The latter has deep connections with some of the local authorities. Food and textile industries are the most developed and vibrant. Within the industrial sector, manufacturing contributes to a gross value added of 7.2%. In the manufacturing sector, the main branches are foodstuff beverage and tobacco with a contribution to the sector very close to the national average. Over the recent decades have emerged some petrochemical, engineering and chemical industries, within the areas of Crotone, Vibo Valentia, and Reggio Calabria. Calabria attracts year-round tourism, offering both summer and winter activities, in addition to its cultural, historical, artistic heritage, it has an abundance of protected natural habitats and green zones. The of its coast make Calabria a popular tourist destination during the summer. The low industrial development and the lack of major cities in much of its territory have allowed the maintenance of indigenous marine life. The most sought after seaside destinations are Tropia, Pizzo Calabro, Capo Vaticano, Reggio Calabria, Soverato, Silla, Scala, Celia Marina, Monte Pawan, Montero, Copanello, Tonera di Palmi, Diamante, Paola. Fumfredo Bruzio, Amantea, Praia e Mare, Belvedere Maritimo, Rosetto Capo Spulico, Carigliano Calabro, Ciro Marina, Amendolara, Roxella Ionica, Bagnara Calabra, Nicotera, Cariati, Zambrone, Isolati Capo Rizzuto, Caminia, Siderno, Parguilia, Ricati, and San Nicola Arcella. In addition to the coastal tourist destinations, the interior of Calabria is rich in history. Traditions, Art and Culture Cosenza is among the most important cultural cities of Calabria, with a rich historical and artistic patrimony. Medieval castles, towers, churches, monasteries and other French castles and structures from the Norman to the Aragonese periods are common elements in both the interior and coastline of Calabria. The mountains offer skiing and other winter activities, Sila, 
Polino and Aspromont are three national parks that offer facilities for winter sports, especially in the towns of Camilliatello, Lorica, Gambari and Monte Santilia. A typical feature is agricultural richness in Calabria. The region boasts the second highest number of organic farmers only after Sicily. The olive tree, representing 29.6% of Wa'a and represents approximately 70% of tree crops. The region is the second highest for olive oil production with Caroli, Ogalarola, and Saracenia olive cultivars as the main regional varieties. The bergamot orange is intensively cultivated, since the 18th century, exclusively in coastal area nearby to Reggio, where it found its optimal geologic land weather conditions. Essence oil from Calabrian bergamot reached the best quality in the world. Calabria is also the largest producer of porcini mushrooms in Italy. The unemployment rate stood at 21.6% in 2017 and was the highest in Italy and one of the highest inside the European Union. The main Calabrian ports are in Reggio and in Gioia Tauro. The Reggio port is equipped with five loading docks of a length of. The Gioia Tauro port has seven loading docks with an extension of. It is the largest in Italy and the seventh largest container port in Europe, with a 2007 throughput of S for more than 3,000 ships. The region is served by three heavily used roads, two national highways along the coast and the A2 motorway, which links Salerno and Reggio, passing by Cosenza along the Old Inland Route. In Calabria there are two main airports, one is situated in Reggio, a few kilometers from city center, built in 1939 is chronologically the first airport in Calabria, another is located in La Mezzia Terme municipality area currently being the first airport in Calabria concerning the number of passengers per year. The following is a list of Calabrian municipalities with a population of over 20,000. Calabria is divided into five provinces. Tourism in Calabria has increased over the years. The main tourist attractions are the coastline and the mountains. The coastline alternates between rugged cliffs and sandy beaches, and is sparsely interrupted by development when compared to other European seaside destinations. The sea around Calabria is clear, and there is a good level of tourist accommodation. The poet Gabriele D'Annunzio called the coast facing Sicily near Reggio Calabria, the most beautiful kilometer in Italy. The primary mountain tourist draws are Aspromont and La Sila, with its national park and lakes. Some other prominent destinations include Although the official national language of Calabria has been standard Italian since before unification in 1861, as a consequence of its deep and colorful history, Calabrian dialects have developed that have been spoken in the region for centuries. The Calabrian language is a direct derivative of the Latin language, and is closer to the words spoken in Latin than the standard Italian. Most linguists divide the various dialects into two different language groups. In the northern one third of the region, the Calabrian dialects are considered part of the Neapolitan language and are grouped as Northern Calabrian or Cosentino. In the southern two-thirds of the region, the Calabrian dialects are often grouped as Central and Southern Calabrian. In many respects, the Calabrian dialect is considered very similar to the Bulian slash Salentine dialects spoken in Salento, the region situated on the heel of Italy. However, in isolated pockets, as well as some quarters of Reggio Calabria a variety of Occitan can also be found in certain communities and French has had an influence on many Calabrian words and phrases. In addition, since Calabria was once ruled by the Spanish, some Calabrian dialects exhibit Spanish derivatives. The majority of Calabrians are Roman Catholic. There are also communities of evangelicals in the region. Calabria has also been called the Land of Saints as the region was the birthplace of many saints spanning nearly 2,000 years. The most famous saint in Calabria and also the patron saint of the region is Saint Francis of Paola. Calabria also has another patron saint called Saint Bruno of Cologne who is the founder of the Carthusian Order. Saint Bruno would build the charter house of Sarah San Bruno, a town which bears his name, in 1095 and later die there in 1101. Even though it is currently a very small community, there has been a long history of the presence of Jews in Calabria. The Jews have had a presence in the region for at least 1,600 years and possibly as much as 2,300 years. Calabrian Jews have had notably influence on manuarias of Jewish life and culture. Although virtually identical to the Jews of Sicily, the Jews of Calabria are considered a distinct Jewish population due to historical and geographic considerations. There is a small community of Italian Anasim who have resumed the Jewish faith. It is important to highlight the presence of Calabrians in Renaissance humanism and in the Renaissance. 
Indeed, the Hellenistics in this period frequently came from Calabria maybe because of the Greek influence. The rediscovery of ancient Greek was very difficult because this language had been almost forgotten. In this period, the presence of Calabrian humanists or refugees from Constantinople was fundamental. The study of ancient Greek, in this period, was mainly a work of two monks of the monastery of Seminara, Barlam, Bishop of Jirachi, and his disciple, Leonzio Pilato. Leonzio Pilato, in particular, was a Calabrian born near Reggio Calabria. He was an important teacher of ancient Greek and translator and he helped Giovanni Boccaccio in the translations of Homer's works. The cuisine is a typical southern Italian Mediterranean cuisine with a balance between meat-based dishes, vegetables, and fish. Pasta is also very important in Calabria. In contrast to most other Italian regions, Calabrians have traditionally placed an emphasis on the preservation of their food and packing vegetables and meats in olive oil. Also making sausages and cold cuts, along the coast curing fish, especially swordfish, sardines and cod. Local desserts are typically fried, honey-sweetened pastries cut urasai, nakadol, scalia or scalita or baked biscotti-type treats. Some local specialties include Casio cavolo cheese, cipolla rosa di tropia, fritnilai and kerkusi, licorice, lagani sicchiari, pecorino crotonese, and pig nalata. In ancient times Calabria was referred to as anotria. According to ancient Greek tradition, the youngest of the sons of Lycaon, was the eponym of Enotria. Some vineyards have origins dating back to the ancient Greek colonists. The best known DOC wines are Syro and Donizai. 3% of the total annual production qualifies as DOC. Important grape varieties are the red Gagliapo and white Greco. Many producers are resurrecting local, ancient grape varieties which have been around for as long as 3,000 years. Calabria has the two highest bridges in Italy. There are three public universities in the region of Calabria. There is also the private university for foreigners Dante Alighieri in Reggio Calabria. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.